To me, autism is a spectrum disorder with a range of conditions. Um, so every student is different. Every person diagnosed with autism is completely different. Um, some of them, they only have challenges with social skills, which means um, communicating with other people or expressing themselves. Um, some other people, they do repetitive behaviors, and this is called stimming. Sometimes they're flapping of the hands or rocking back and forth. Um, some people have speech and nonverbal challenges. Um, sometimes they speak of themselves in third person, which means when they talk about themselves, they say their own name rather than saying I or me. And then um, some people are completely nonverbal, so they have to use a communication system to talk. Like I said, everyone is different. It can affect people in many different ways. Um, some people, they can go on and they go to college and they live a completely normal life. Um, it affects the child's learning by like, um, there's like two stages. One that's like, you get a fast, high, um, high function, yes. And then there's the low function where a kid doesn't pay attention at all. It really depends on the student or the child. Some children, it can happen between like one and three years old and that's called early intervention. So the parents might notice that they're not developing um, at a normal rate compared to another child. They might see that the child is not making eye contact or their speech might be delayed. So they contact their child's doctor and then they'll have a specialist come in and observe and do a number of different um, tests on the student or the child. Sometimes when a child comes to school, kindergarten, first grade, those young primary grades, teachers might notice something's a little off or different, which is not necessarily a bad thing. So then they'll have a specialist come in and they meet with the team at the school and they do observations and um, the diagnosis has to come from a doctor. Um, I would say around the kindergarten, 11, I mean, not 11, um, one times, like, um, they act funny in front of teachers. When I was first diagnosed, I was just diagnosed straight on, like when I was born. So students with the um, diagnosis of autism or on the autism spectrum disorder, in the school setting, sometimes they need a little extra time with work or some clarification. A lot of times they, um, they benefit from visuals also, visual cards or just things on the classroom walls just as a reinforcer of like what's next, what we're learning today or also like what time do we go home. Sometimes they'll ask often. So knowing times is a big thing, um, and just keeping clear expectations and routines, which I think every single student needs. Well, let's see, a child without autism um, can get like, um, like a little, um, um, how do I say, aggressive when they grow up more. But autistic kids, they're even more aggressive from time to time. Like, when they were like in the five, they become more aggressive. Um, some students, some of mine, they use communication systems, and we use it's called Pro Logo to Go, and it's on an iPad. And it's um, little pictures or words that they click, and the iPad says them out loud. Some students use PECs and those are actually, it's like a binder, and you would introduce the student to just a couple of words um, to start with, and then they master each set of words, and then it becomes a full uh, dictionary of words that they can use. Um, others, we don't need any communication systems. They're able to fully communicate and, you know, do their best work in school and at home. We um, communicate like um, like we either raise our hand, talk to the teacher, but other times we just like drift off um, until we get um, notice that we're having trouble.